Hey, good evening YouTube. Um, uh, Brando here and wanted to kind of talk about um, everyday carry knives or everyday carry blades, really whatever you wanted to call it. And really what do I personally look for in an everyday carry knife. And you know, um, for me it's kind of uh, changed over time. And um, I have several knives here in front of me. These are not all my knives, but these are several of them that I have that I kind of wanted to uh, go over, but I wanted to go over one in particular, and I'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. First and foremost, uh, what am I carrying today? Um, today just so happens to be the Glock 19. So, got that out of the way. Now, I have always been under the impression that um, um, an everyday carry knife needs to be able to do your basic everyday needs that you may use a knife for. And I find myself doing things like opening boxes, cutting rope, um, you know, you know, prying things out sometimes. It's just, it just really all depends. And, um, you know, two popular ones that I carry a lot happens to be this Benchmade. Um, this is the, uh, the Mini Griptilian. And I like this knife a lot. Um, I use it and I have worn this um, you know, in my pants pocket for quite some time. You can actually see a lot of the wear that I have on this knife. Now, actually, this one needs to be sharpened, but this is held up very well, <clears throat> and I think this is a great everyday carry uh, knife. Um, another one that I carry a lot, okay, is this SOG Flash 2. Um, now, the Flash 2 is a spring-assisted knife, and it has a safety on it, which is I really like. Uh, to be quite honest with you, and it opens up quite easily, um, and it's easy to um, um, use this. The, I like the way that the blade cuts. Um, I like the way that the blade is straight. It's not. There's no um, uh, indention in the blade. I forget what you call that, but uh, just like the way that way that it handles. I like the safety on it simply because I have kids, and I leave, if I do take it out of my pocket or something like that, my kids uh, can't accidentally open this since it is a uh, assisted opening blade. Um, some other everyday carry knives that you may see a lot of um, are the old case knives or buck knives or something like that. These both happen to be case knives. This one was my grandfather's, and this was purchased back in like 1973. Uh, this is the exact same knife um, that was made back in like 2005 that I just got a couple years ago um, to kind of match this one because I don't want to lose this one. This one means a lot to me since it was my grandfather's. Um, so you see a lot of um, people carrying these type of knives in their pockets. They usually have a few blades on them. <clears throat> this one's rather large, but there's some small ones out there as well. Um, one thing that I have out here, that I don't have here that you see a lot of is the uh, Leatherman. Now Leatherman makes their knives or their multi-tools in um, three different sizes. One of them being the the mini size, which is like the Squirt P4. They also make a mid mid size and make a full size. Now I have a couple of full sizes, but I don't have a medium size um, Leatherman. And I think the medium size Leatherman would probably be a pretty good option, and I'll kind of go into that as I go along. Um, which kind of leads me into um, uh, the knife that I'm going to talk about today, or the tool, which is the uh, Victorinox, and this is the Super Tinker. Okay, I happen to like this a lot, actually, and I'll get get into some details of why I like this, even versus a blade like this. Okay, um, when you look at a blade like this to kind of start off with, really what you're getting is a very strong blade. Uh, if you need to do some serious cutting, a blade like this would really, really, really help you in that regard. If you do everyday light cutting, then maybe a blade such as this one on the Super Tinker. Um, would help you a lot. There's actually two blades here that um, you can choose from. Okay, you have a larger blade and a smaller blade. And one thing that I um, like about these blades here too is they are also straight. They're not near as thick, obviously, as like this mini Griptilian. If we take a look at the thickness and blade, okay, it's a lot thicker here than this one. So this one hold up more. So like I said, more serious cutting. Um, but for everyday purposes, I like the um, um, the blade on this uh, Torinox. Um, which kind of leads me into really do you want a blade or do you want a multi-tool? And for me, for an everyday carry knife, I want 
and I've come to this decision that I want the multi-tool, okay? And I want the I want a multi-tool in a package that I can carry that's comfortable for me to put in a front pocket or something like that. I have two full-size Leathermans, and I don't have any around here. I wish I had one out to kind of show. Um, but I usually put those using the uh, Velcroed um, uh, nylon belt clip, okay? That I put on my belt, and if I'm wearing jeans or something like that, that usually goes on there, especially if I'm going hunting or fishing or something like that. I, I personally like those. I, I'm not a Gerber fan as far as multi-tools. I, I like Leatherman and Leatherman only, okay? And I love Leatherman products. Um, I think they're the best. <clears throat> um, and there's knives on the Leatherman, okay? They may not be as nice as a knife as what's on this Flash 2, okay? But there are pretty good knives um, on those Leathermans as well. So, you know, I find myself carrying not only the Leatherman, but I also find myself carrying this as well. And why I do that, sometimes I'm not quite sure. Because, um, really, the Leatherman gives me everything that I need. Um, now, which gets me back to the term everyday carry, okay? When I'm carrying something every day, I need access not only a knife, but I may need, like the other day, I needed to pry a paint can open. Well, I used the actual um, big screwdriver bl uh, blade on this particular knife to actually open up the um, paint can. I needed to open up a bottle the other day. Voila, you know, I had a bottle opener. Um, if I'm out camping and I need to open up a can, I have a can opener here. I also have a small blade here for a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, if you know it may fit in there, and also you know for for a small regular size screwdriver. Um, I've used that as well, and of course you have the big full size Phillips head screwdriver. Used this the other day to fix a handle on a dresser drawer, and the fact that I had this in my pocket made it so nice to have. Um, so let's look at the features here. Um, definitely use this Phillips head a lot. There's actually a hook on this knife as well. Okay. Now this hook could be used for a couple of different things. Um, you know, if you're actually uh, tying maybe some uh, uh, picture wire or something like that, and you need to just twist it. You know, just put the eye hole in here, and you could just twist it around until you got that a nice little knot there. Uh, there's also a leather punch on this knife, and, and a thread eyelet. Okay, don't know exactly how you would use that, but when I looked online for that, that's what that was for. Um, I've used this punch before on leather, um, not this particular one, but actually the one on the, the mini uh, squirt. Um, my favorite tool in, on this particular one happens to be the scissors. The scissors on this Victorinox Super Tinker are outstanding. Okay, I've used this several, several times, and actually it's probably the biggest tool that I use in a junction with the screwdrivers. Okay, I use the screwdrivers in this tool 90% of the time. The knives are secondary, okay, because if you have a pair of scissors, you don't have to dangerously try to open up a package with a knife by slicing open the edges, okay. I can actually use the scissors to do that, and the scissors do a fine job on this Victorinox. They have very solid scissors. There's no play in this whatsoever. And with that regard, too, there is no play in any of the screwdrivers, um, even the knife blade. There is no, this is a very solid piece of equipment. And you can get these, this one was on clearance at Walmart for $15. I mean, that was just incredible. What inspired me to make this video today was I was sitting there rubbing my hands together, fisting to do some typing on the keyboard, and noticed that I had a splinter right here in this little pinky finger. Well, I just went to my Victorinox, which happened to be in my pocket, because I was using it for an every day. And then I have a, oops, sorry, had a pair of tweezers right here that I was able to use to get that splinter out. Took me two tries, boom, got the splinter out, and I put the little um, tweezers right back into the knife for safekeeping. All in all, I'm extremely impressed with this particular knife. I would highly recommend it. Um, the only thing that I could see that would benefit from this package would be a pair of pliers. Okay, And there is a model, the Victorinox model, I think it's called the Workman or the Craftsman, I can't remember which, which one it's called, that has the scissors and it has a pair of pliers. And they just simply fold out just like the scissors do, except, you know, instead of PNP and the scissors, there's a pair of pliers um, and, and scissors. So there's both on that particular tool, okay? Um, scissors are very valuable. I love them. 
Um, so all in all, right now, as far as an everyday carry and what the philosophy is of an everyday carry blade or knife, it's not necessarily the blade. To me, it's the tool because the tool is um, something I use on a daily basis. I, mean, I really have not gone a day where I didn't need something on this to do something around the house. And um, I think that this Victorinox Super Tinker is an excellent knife or tool for the value. Um, um, excellent. To buy this right here, which I love the squirts, okay? Absolutely adore these things. Uh, but they're $30, okay? I think if you go buy this at Walmart, if it, I think they started selling one that had a case. And I think it's 24 or 25 So 25 bucks for this one at Walmart if you can't find the one on clearance uh, versus 30 for this one. And if you meet the mid medium size Leatherman, those are more in the $50 range, depending on how many tools it has, like the uh, juice uh, models that they used to have and so forth. So, um, now these are excellent. And if you like the Leatherman and you like the way and you need pliers and stuff like that, I would highly recommend the Leatherman. But um, one thing that's different about a tool this size versus this size is that I've lost a few of these and I've had to replace it. This one is big enough where I don't lose it, but it's not too large where it's a nuisance going into my pocket. Okay, Maybe you guys can um, kind of identify with that issue. Um, so, you know, the philosophy of an everyday carry knife, I think this fits the bill very well because it's not just a knife. Matter of fact, there's two knives here, but it's not just a knife, but it's also a bottle opener. It's also a can opener. It's also a leather punch. There's a wire stripper in there. Uh, there's the there's the hook tool. There's the Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, there's the scissors. You know, there's toothpick. There's the tweezers. Just an overall good value um, for your money everyday carry knife. And that's really what encompasses the definition of an everyday carry knife to me. So, anyway, that's about all I had to say about that. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and maybe you guys agree or not agree. Um, you know, if you have a different opinion than that, you know, and you have, you know, why you would carry something like this in addition with this, you know, comment, let me know, okay, because, um, you know, I would carry this, um, if I was going out in the woods, because I may need a more heavy-duty knife, but I'd also carry the Leatherman as well, so I have reasons for carrying both, but around the house every day, you know, this seems to be the ticket here, so, you know, please comment, please subscribe. And for those of you that are watching my videos, I'm up to 21 subscribers as of this time today. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that's su subscribed, and I really appreciate everybody who's kind of uh, um, telling their friends about this particular channel. It's a new channel. It's really been up and active for a little over a month. And I'm hoping to grow by a few videos a week and uh, see how this thing goes. So I really enjoy it. So thanks for subscribing, and if you have any comments, please uh, feel free to do so. Take care. Have a good day.